Hey guys, this is another journal page for Chronic Pain and the Joyful Chronic. <laughs> this page just totally expresses where I want to get going with this. So do you have some days, as do we all, I'm sure, that are just blah. They're not overly bad, but they're not over, overly great either. They're just black. <laughs> Doesn't the color on this page represent that so well? <laughs> so we are going to work with um, my feelings about that. Not that I'm having a day like that, because I'm not actually right now, but I've had plenty of those in my life, and I know exactly. I can picture me there and express the feelings I think very well in the page today. I've got a bunch of different like scraps of paper. I've got a folder here of some handmade papers. I've got another fo folder of, let's see, there we go. Art printed, reprinted digital art, old book pages, wrapping paper, you get the idea. So we're gonna use some bits and pieces. I've got a black pencil, a gray marker. I might grab a tube of paint or two, and we're gonna see where it goes. And my idea for a theme, and I also have my words right here, because of course I have my words right there. My theme for this is finding the bright spot in the blahs, right? Finding the light in the blah. Not the light in the dark, because sometimes it's not dark, it's just blah, right? All right, so I'm going to see where this takes me. I'm gonna turn some music on, I'm gonna fast forward for you, and I'll be right back.
Okay, there you go. Find the light. Now, at the time of filming this, I don't know if you've seen yet or if it's aired yet. I have another straight talk coming out, and this time the discussion, um, albeit one-sided because it's me talking to the camera, is just about the power of words and my thoughts are on the power what my thoughts are on the power of words, the spoken words, the written words. Mostly in the talk, I talk about us projecting our words to others and being more mindful of what we say and what we write um, because of the impact they have on others. And when we do use our words, uh, whether they're spoken or written or in art, that we're mindful of the story that we're telling and the message and emotion that we're still telling. But all of those thoughts also work with words that we are giving ourselves or saying to ourselves or writing to ourselves. We really should be mindful of our words. And this page for me really represents that very well. Even in the blah days, there's some light to be found and um, it's just not all about um, just sitting in the mud. <laughs> um, so I really love, um, I love the message here and I love the way this page turned out. Did I know that's where it was going to go when I started? No, not really. Um, I encourage you to work out your chronic mental or physical pain issues in a healthy manner. I also want to remind you, I am not a therapist. I'm not a mental or physical health professional by any stretch of the imagination. There is no shame in getting professional help. I'll put some links in the video description for you. Uh, please seek medical help if you need it. And um, art is a great form of therapy for what ails you. So give that a try and discuss that with your medical team about maybe finding a uh, person, place, or group in your area that has that. That's a great idea. All right, that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to learn more about art through chronic pain, there is a Facebook group for that. It's run by my friend Cindy Utter, and I will link it in the description below. There are also lots of chronic pain um, art therapy type videos here on YouTube. YouTube, so just do some Googling in, in the YouTube search bar and you'll find it. Don't forget to um, support your artists and the creative content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups how you can. Most of us have different things like Patreon and Etsy shops and PayPal tip jars and stuff in our video descriptions. Mine is Mine has it too, so check out the video description when you're watching YouTube videos and see how you can support people. And if you're not sure, DM them if you have access to them on some social media. That's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.